When you open this database, a message box pops up that says, this is the shortcut to email your current report, control E. That message box comes from the auto executable macro. So it kicks in when you open the database. The shortcut, control E, comes from the auto keys macro. So when I do control E, it will say no report is open. So you have to open a report before it works. So we are going to use report suppliers for instance. Now control E should work. What is your email address? Me at AOL.com A non-existing email address. Make sure it has an at sign and a dot. Would you like a PDF version? Yes. And there it opens your email editor. If you have Outlook, make sure it's open. And there is your report suppliers. I'm opening it just to show you that it really exists. And now we could send this to that email address. I'm not going to do that because the thing doesn't exist. Make your own PDF copy. Let's say yes. And then you can just store it anywhere you want on your machine. And I publish it. Then it will ask you, do you want to save these export steps? I'm going to say close. So the question is, how, how did we do that? Let me explain first the two macros. The auto-executable one is the very simple one in design view. What you did is, you put in there a message box. Type your message and save it as auto-executable. That means it, it kicks in automatically when you start your database. The auto keys one is a little more involved. It has first of all a sub macro in it. Make sure that you have your action catalog open, sub macro. Uh, in an older version you have to uh, go to the macro menu and say I want the names of macros. And what is the name of this sub macro? Control E. The caret is the control key and the E is what I chose. And what do you want in that sub macro? You want an action that is a run code, and the run code one needs a function. Run report open close parentheses. I made that function in a module. Again, when you save this one, make sure you call it auto keys. So now the shortcut key should work. So what is in the module? You go to VBA, Alt F11, insert a module if you don't have one yet, and declare a subroutine that I call send email. I declared some variables, and then the main step is that in the variable S report, you store the name of the active report on your screen. If you don't have an active report open, then this will create an error. So on error, resume next. And then we check if the error number is not zero, but it has the number of your error. Then we say your report is not open, colon, clear the error, colon and exit the sub. Otherwise, we keep going. So we make a S address setting with an input box. What is the email address? I put a label there again, colon, and I will explain why. For if we check and find that there is no add sign and no dot, then we go back to again and ask the user again. So we check with the instring function in S address. Do you find an add sign? If you don't, that means it doesn't find any position, zero, or if you don't find a dot, then go to again. Otherwise, subject of the email is going to be report, or whatever. The for thing is for the person who is in the email address. So we take the left part of the address 
up to the point where the add sign is minus 1, for you don't want that add sign included in the name. And then we ask the user, do you want a PDF version or a text version? If they say a PDF version, then we do command send an object, and it has the following arguments. What kind of object? AC send report. What is the object name? As rep, which is the, the name of the active report. What output format? A PDF format. Two, which address? Copies, blind copies, etc. What is the subject? Etc. Then we do a do events command. That means make sure that that all nicely runs before we continue. If they had said no, we want a text version, we do again a send command, but this time of the text type. Do events again, and if. And then we ask if you want to. Would, would you like to make your own PDF copy and store it somewhere? If the user says yes, then we open that report in the preview view. And then we mimic three shortcuts. The Shift F10 closes the menu in the view preview, so we mimic that with a send keys command. The plus stands for shift, and then inside braces the F10 key. Then we, we use the E key that calls the export menu, and then the P key for the PDF file option. And if, and sub. So now we are going to call this subroutine in a function. Remember the macro requires a function. So we create a function that I happen to call run report and then it calls that send email subroutine. And that should do the work that I just showed you earlier and it should work fine. You could do that for any report and then you choose what you want. If you want to know more about VBA I would say buy this CD-ROM. You can find it at genesispc.com and look at all the beautiful features it has in it. And a similar story if you don't really know how to make reports, you could go to this CD-ROM, also to be found at genesispc.com, and it will also go into reporting tools and that kind of things. I wish you good luck with all of this.